Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. Okay, so as you can see, for now, when that character see us, even if we are too far away from them, they just launch the attack. So today, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give them some intelligence. Uh, like that if I am not in their range they will come to me and start try to attack instead of attacking whenever they uh, want okay so let's get started mm. right this is my main human character and this is the AI blueprint AI controller which controls these uh, NPC characters and as I have explained in the previous episode they start attacking when they see us so right this go to location method is uh, implemented like this we give this AI character a destination and this loop keep going on until they reach that given destination so what I'm going to do is and also this uh, go to location event is implemented through BPI AI which stands for blueprint blueprint interface AI so through this interface therefore I can access this method even from inside my character blueprint even if I don't have a concrete reference to this casted AI human character I hope that makes sense to you okay so here I'll go to my ch human actually I implemented the attack method in not in player class inside this ch enemy class so this is the attack method we have for now okay and here instead of asking this character to attack I'm going to do something like this so instead of blindingly asking this character to attack I'm going to modify this toggle attacking method to include a target actor enemy actor as well like this enemy and I'll give make it an actor reference okay now we have this actor reference also so I have to give that input in my AI human character which is this one and in here I have to give this character blueprint and enemy as well so I set this enemy character reference right here and so therefore I can use that same thing from here okay now I have a reference to my enemy character then I can do a distance check like this right here first even before doing anything I should check if this is valid because if this uh, by some Way. if we get an invalid reference here we would have 
null reference exceptions if we try to enable this reference in calculations get distance to and the okay so like this I can get the distance to myself so this actor to that target actor with this node and I'll put a branch here and if this distance is less than let's say 300 we can change this variable value later if this is less than 300 it will attack otherwise actually we have already defined a variable called hit range here in our CH1 class so therefore I'll use that here hit range okay and so if this uh, enemy character is within the hit range I can directly call this attack function like this otherwise I have to ask my AI controller uh, actually I have made a little mistake here so yeah we should first we should do this only if we are going to attack we have enabled attacking so therefore this part should come after this one and this part should go here and this one should connect this two okay right and then no this part should also come under before this so I'll connect this one disconnect and put this part here and if true here okay it should be like this all right also this one should be connected right here because otherwise this check wouldn't be happened whenever I try to attack again and for this part well I could call this this go to location method and make character move to the that location with the AI controller but since now I am already inside the character blueprint I think I can use a sim much simpler method so like this we have a method called get no, go to act simple move to actor this one and with this one uh, not actor I'll use uh, simple move to location so as for the controller I can get get controller and self like this I'll get a little more space here 
and as for the goal I'll get this uh, anime character location but I don't need this character to go to that exact location therefore I'll do a simple calculation here get actor location so this is my location or this character's location and I'll subtract this one from this one and normalize I think I should do it like this this one from this one and multiply it with the hit range and add this to this one uh, this should be correct let's check so what I'm going to do is what I am doing here is I'm getting a location from my location towards the target location with within the hit range so I'll set this as a goal and I'll add a delay of two seconds here and again I should not plug it here I should plug it here again I should check if I am in the attacking range in order to start attacking right let's check if that works okay he's coming to us and still not attacking why is that okay he's attacking right I think I should instead of uh, giving the exact value here I'll multiply this with something like uh, 0.6 and then give it because otherwise we will be in some in that exact point it will be similar to heat range okay now he is attacking okay come into us and attack if I go again come into us attack right so yeah so that's all for today And in the next episode, uh, let's continue to improve this system, this combat system and the AI and everything. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these Patreons. And big thank for them. If you want to support my channel, you can go to patreon.com and you can get the membership of my patreon page and there you will have some more stuff uh, uh, regarding to the work I do here okay see you in the next episode goodbye